The Wixom Historical Society was established in 1975 as a nonprofit organization. Our purpose has always been to promote the city's heritage and to introduce the city to historical information. Our first endeavor was restoring the Wixom Moyer House Museum. From there, we moved on to archiving documents and photographs, and more recently, we've added educational programming. The Hopkins Barn is actually the, the history of our city. When you look at a barn, often you think of a time gone by, a simpler era, but it's more than that. It's, it's the people that built the barn. It's the reason they built the barn. Uh, if I may, I'd like to tell you a little about the Hopkins family that, that built this barn. Our story begins in 1856, and that was uh, before there was even a Wixom. The community was called Sibley's Corners. There was a little school, a little, a little church community, a little farming town, and it was located at Wixom Road and Maple Road. One of the families to move in was a young couple named Albert and Sarah Baker, and they soon had two children. Uh, Lewis, who was born in 1857, and Lucy, who was born in 1862. Albert was a carpenter, and uh, they were a thriving part of the community. At the time the family was settling in, there was a great rebellion within the United States, which we now know as the Civil War. Well, the people of this community were very anti-slavery and wanted to do what they could. The, cur the current governor of Michigan, Moses Wisner, was a gentleman from Pontiac. When he finished his term of office in 1861, he was asked to gather a regiment of soldiers to help in the war effort. He quickly gathered 1,000 enlisted men from Oakland County and Macomb County. Among those men was Albert Baker. Well, in September, they were asked to fight in the Battle of Chickamauga. This was in northern Georgia, near the Tennessee border. The regiment would join others and fight the Confederate Army. This was not a good battle for the North. After three days of fighting, they were surrounded by Confederate soldiers. The casualties were very high. In fact, they were higher than any other battle except the Battle of Gettysburg. Among those captured was, was Albert. Well, he was quickly paroled, and we, and we know that that tells us that he was injured very badly. The soldiers that were not paroled were put into prisoner of war camps so that they could not return to battle. But if they, were, if they let you go, it was because they knew you could not return to the battlefield. Albert made it, made it as far as Chattanooga before dying of his injuries in October of 1863. Now Sarah was a young widow with two small children. Well, she did what she had to do. She quickly found employment at the farm of Jay Marlott. Now, Jay Marlott was the son of pioneers in Lyon Township. His farm was located where Lyon Oaks is today. Sarah became a housekeeper, and within several years, she and Jay were happily married, starting a life of their own. The family lived happily until Jay died suddenly, and once again, Sarah was a widow. So Lewis grew up and he went on and got married. And same thing with Lucy, she married the neighbor boy and his name was Adelbert Hopkins. Now he was the son of Calvin Hopkins who had a large farm in Milford Township right on Pontiac Trail. After marriage, Adelbert and Lucy moved in with Sarah to help her with the farm. They were very happy, they had 10 children and then they became aware that Sarah's days were numbered. So Dell and Lucy had to look for another home because they would not be able to stay on the farm much longer. They, they found a beautiful home that had been owned by the Munshaw family right on Pontiac Trail in Wixom. They uh, planned to move in, but there was one thing missing, a barn. The home had no, no place to store the threshing machine or uh, the other outdoor tools. So what did Adele do? Well, he was an experienced builder. He built this barn right here. And after Sarah's death in 1915, the family moved here where they would live the rest of their life. Wixom's history is very important to the downtown. We realize when we study history that we're not just amongst ourselves, whether we're in a business or whether we're a resident, we realize that we're part of something more. And what we do today will also affect the direction that our community takes tomorrow. The best way to find information about the Wixom Historical Society is to go to our website, 
www.wixomhistoricalsociety.org. You'll find information about the history of the community. You'll find upcoming events as well as ways to contact us. We hope to hear from all of you soon.